Hey guys, today I'm here with a Tiffany's Tell All video and today's topic is one that I've gotten questions about that I have no problem discussing whatsoever. Um, however, it is quite a personal question and that is basically what is going to happen to Michaela after we pass away. And I'll just start off by saying the doctors that we have, the neurologists that we discuss with things with, said that her life expectancy is not lessened because of her disorder. However, in the past, when I first started researching about her disorder when she was just an infant, um, we found out that they usually don't live past 10 years um, in her case. Uh, she's the lesser severe of lysencephaly, which is her condition, and usually when they have the most severe condition, they pass away within, you know, the first couple of months of their life um, and don't make it very far. However, with Michaela's, they usually live till about 10. Um, however, that all depends on how you care for your child. Um, that depends on how sick they become, um, how well they're doing over the years and that type of thing. There's always complications that you run into. Um, so as for Michaela, saying that she would pass away around 10 years, that would be in two years, um, which we are not scared of. Obviously, it will crush us. Uh, we don't want to see our child pass away. That's just not how things are supposed to work. Um, your child is never supposed to go before yourself. However, in Michaela's case, we know that the likelihood of her passing away before us is a very good possibility. Um, so let's say, for instance, um, me and Kyle got into a car crash and we both passed away. In that case, she would automatically go to my parents. Um, now, obviously, they are the ones that help care for Michaela. They always have help care for Michaela and they know everything that she needs um, in order to live a happy, healthy life. Um, now, in the instance that um, we all passed away and Michaela was the only one surviving, she would either go to my father-in-law who is um, Kyle's dad or my brother. Um, my brother has grown up with her in the house and he knows uh, a lot however he is moved away and has his own things going on um, but worst case scenario she would either go to my father-in-law or my brother um, now this is all not in a will as of yet there is a lot of um, technicalities that have to be written in a will and it's just a bunch of mumble jumble, um, but obviously we have to get that done soon. We've been wanting to do it. It's just something that we all have to kind of sit down together and discuss um, as a family, including me, Kyle, my mom and dad, um, and then also Kyle's dad. So um, in the instance that we were all to go, um, I don't know really rightly what would happen. Um, I would lean more towards my cousin that you've seen in my videos. Um, however, I wouldn't want to put a burden on her. Um, she's a lot going on herself. Um, however, you know, sometimes things happen and that's the way it goes. So, um, I know you're all concerned about what would happen after we pass away as she's an older adult and that type of thing. but. As of right now, um, the way we see things playing out is that Michaela will pass away before any of us do. Um, and it's just the way life is um, that she's going to probably go before us, which we are okay with. I would much rather her go before us. That way I know exactly what is right for her, um, burying her or cremating her. Um, that type of thing so we don't know all of the details just yet obviously until the time comes things can always change um, but yeah the short answer would be she would go to my mom and dad first um, if something ever happened to us so um, if there's any comments or questions in regard to this topic 
please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Um, and yeah, so I hope you learned something new from this video and enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.